um, 6.48 now, but I've been awake since 5.30. I woke up to nurse Nev, and then I came downstairs to make my coffee. Still have it right here. So I am an in-home child care provider, as a lot of you already know. If you're new here, that's what I do for a living. I work from home. So I have my newborn, and then I have my toddler and my preschooler at home. For today, I thought that I would just kind of take you guys through my day. So if you're curious about what an in-home child care provider does all day, uh, this could just give you like a little insight into that. Kids will start arriving in about 10 minutes. I open at 7 o'clock. It's going to be really difficult. Um, a lot of my kids are still relatively new, so we're still kind of in that adjustment phase. So I wouldn't say that things are like totally easy and settled down right now. I'm not going to show like the tantrums and the meltdowns and things like that. Do know that they definitely happen. Um, it's inevitable. Kids, you know, when you get a group of kids together, they're going to have moments like that because they're learning. I do want to kind of take you throughout the day and just like give you a clue of how our day usually runs. So far I've just kind of gotten myself dressed and um, made my coffee. I set out some activities for today. So I'm going to have the older kids do this all about me project. And then I'm just gonna have the younger kids do this coloring page of the triangle. It says name the shape and trace it with a finger. So we're gonna go over that. I separate activities based on age because I feel like this is pretty pointless to do with the younger kids. I don't want to do activities with the kids that I have to facilitate 100% because they're not going to get anything out of that. We go through a ton of dishes throughout the day with all the kids, so I'm constantly loading and unloading and reloading the dishwasher. I've got fresh clean water cups all ready to go. I have the Nest app brought up on my phone so that way I can see when the parents arrive. bubble fish first family should be arriving soon normally they're already here by now but uh, I guess they're running a little bit late today I like to set up a little obstacle course for the kids for when they walk into the door. So our first little guy is already here. I'm gonna go ahead and make him a bottle because he is hungry and ready to eat. And another family just showed up too, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them inside. Baby safe play area. So I totally forgot that Ren has preschool today, so I need to pack her snack for that and just get her things ready for preschool. So there's her snack. They're only allowed to have fruits and veggies for snack, so I have some baby carrots, strawberries, and a mandarin orange. So I just put one of the little ones down for his first morning nap. So far I have three kids here, so I'm still expecting two more kids. While I was making a bottle for one of the babies, one of the toddlers was in the preschool room and found a little palette of paint from yesterday that got stashed into one of the shelves, so I didn't see it and I forgot about it. And she proceeded to paint the stepping stools that go to our obstacle course. She only got to do one and a half of them before I caught her and stopped her. Luckily it's washable paint, but that's just like, <laughs> A little um, glimpse of the shenanigans that do go on on a day-to-day -day basis because you can't have eyes on everybody every second of the day. Uh, granted, everything is like safe and baby-proof. Nobody's gonna get hurt, um, but they always can find a way to make trouble. <laughs> I, I got some breakfast for Rin. Milo likes to be independent, so he put butter on his toast by himself. 
Milo opened up the sink and he said, is that the engine for the sink? I love how his little mind works. All right, I need to get Ren ready for preschool, so I'm gonna do her hair. He got Ren's hair done for school. You just wanna help keep it out of her face while she's playing. Good morning. Good morning. Say so you are awake and you're ready to eat, huh? In our classroom, safe and sound, fears are lost and hope is found. Raise your hands, we'll go around. All are welcome here. Good morning, Milo. Good morning, Milo. How are you? How are you? We're so glad to have you. We're so glad to have you in our group. In our group. So what is today? Does anybody know what today is? Saturday. Close. Today is Tuesday. All right, guys, we're going to do our days of the week one more time, okay? Are you ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days in a week, seven days in a week. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 12 months. In a year. Yes. Very good. What color is this one, guys? Black. 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 What color is this? Gray. 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 Pink. Gray. Pink. 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 Yellow. Yellow. Blue. 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 What shape is this, you guys? Stone. Stone. Triangle. Very good. What's this one? Diamond. Uh, diamond. 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 What shape is this one, guys? Gray. So the kids are just having some free play time right now, and I am nursing Nev again. And we peed through our diaper. <laughs> Nev's diaper just leaked all over my pants. Alexa, play Little Kids Station. The station Disney favorites on Amazon Music. So it's 10 o'clock now and I'm just getting to eat some breakfast for the first time. I just have to try to eat when I can. Nev's just sleeping on the floor here in the middle of the living room. One tip that I definitely have for you guys is to not let babies nap in a quiet area. Let them sleep in the room full of all the other kids playing with the lights on, with the noise, with the music, with the crying. They'll get used to it and they will learn to sleep in the middle of the noise. And that's probably like the best thing you can do to make your life easier. And that's definitely something I learned the hard way because with Ren, we had it so quiet every time she slept. We would mute the TV, we would whisper. Basically the first six months of her life, our house was so dead silent and we were always on edge just trying not to wake the baby. So every diapered child got a diaper change at about nine o'clock. Um, every two hours I will do a diaper change on every single kiddo. I will change them earlier if one of them like poops or is really wet, but at the very minimum everybody gets it's changed every two hours. Good job, guys. Freeze. Unfreeze. So I am nursing Nev again, still mom of a newborn over here. But the kiddos are in my clear line of sight. I can see them right over there. They're still playing that musical obstacle course game that I set up for them. It's a good way to get some energy out, good gross motor activity for them. I'm gonna do a really easy lunch today. So just, we're gonna bake some fish sticks and then do veggies and then I'll pick a fruit. A lot of times I will cook something in the crock pot at the beginning of the day. So that way it's ready by the time lunch rolls around. Um, but I just did not have time to do that today, so fish sticks it is for today. This book is called Corduroy's Halloween. It's fall. The air is colder and the trees are turning red and yellow. Corduroy and his friends are having fun raking leaves into big piles. Questions and answers about nature. This one looks like fun. 
Where are seeds made? Where do you guys think seeds are made? Well, What color block is this one? Uh, green. green. <laughs> you say red? Red. red? red. Yeah, what about this one? Uh, blue. What, yellow? Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> what color is this one? Um, blue. Um, there blue. you go, it's blue. Find more red ones to put in the pile. Um, oh, I found red. You did. You gonna put oh. it in the pile? Um, yeah. Yay. That was so silly. Did you put yellow in the red pile? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, thank you. You guys, we're gonna do a clean up before nap, okay? I need everyone to be big helpers. As I was cleaning up, I found this basket of ours completely smashed. Yeah. When you run a home daycare, your personal possessions become destroyed at a much faster rate than they would otherwise. Alexa, play healing sounds. Shall I continue playing healing? Yes. Climb up in the bed. I love you. And get some rest, okay? Okay. I'm gonna tuck you in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mickey. That's your Mickey and your blanket. Mm -hmm. Blanket. So all of the kiddos are down for their naps now. I changed everybody who wears a diaper, which again is most of them. And I have the youngest ones in pack and plays or cribs, but most of them just sleep downstairs on the cots in the living room. Nev is downstairs crying. I hate that when she's like crying, sometimes I have to make her wait because I am just really busy doing other things. That's one of the hard aspects of running a home daycare. It's the quietest that it's been all day. Only Nev is awake right now. I'm trying to hold her upright so that she'll burp. You're getting tired too though, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. I am hungry though. I haven't had a chance to eat lunch. And I'm thirsty. I haven't had any water in a while. <laughs> we got to do quite a bit of learning activities today, which is always nice. And everybody is fed, everybody's clean and changed and napping. If I can get Nev down here in a little bit, then I'm probably going to just go ahead and clean, finish picking everything up and uh, load up the dishwasher and clean the kitchen. Time is over, it's a little after three o'clock now. I just put all of the nap mats up there. I stacked them against the wall to keep them out of the way. I changed all the diapers and now I'm about to get them all snacked. The last two hours of the day can be crazy because I have to make sure that I keep everybody clean. Um, I like to make sure that everybody goes home with clean diapers, clean hands, clean faces. So we're gonna get ready and we're gonna do that now. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, honey. How was your nap? Good. Good. Do you turn off the light? Sure. Do you want to go turn it off? Mm -hmm. Hi, sister. Hi, baby. Did you have a good nap? Or a good Hi, rest? Baby. <laughs> Simple snack today. Just some pretzels and an applesauce pouch. Ooh, the prime truck is outside. There's some things that I ordered. So some of the kiddos are finishing up snack now and then the ones who are already done are working on these three piece fruit puzzles. These are really great for kids 18 months to like three years. They're not complicated at all so they're just a really good beginner puzzle for the little ones. Our new baby swing arrived today in the mail. We moved Neb's old one upstairs and we just discovered that we really need one downstairs as well. It'll just make our life so much easier. Your new swing is here. Are you excited? 
Okay, it's five o'clock. The last daycare kid just left. It seems like everybody left almost at once today. Um, so it was really busy there for like the last 30 minutes and I didn't film very much of that, but basically I make sure every single child has a clean diaper and their shoes and socks on, their jackets on, all of their personal belongings are in their backpacks, in their cubbies up front ready to go so that way at pickup time I'm not scrambling around trying to get everything together and nothing gets forgotten. So I'll show you guys what our house looks like at the end of the day if we don't do a big group cleanup at around 4 p.m. first. There's our playroom. Not terrible, but it's just kind of messy. Um, over here the preschool room is a little bit messier. Yeah, I mean, it's not like horribly messy. It's been worse in the past, definitely been worse. Nev seems to be enjoying her new swing. It's so nice having a swing down here for her again. We didn't have one down here all last week and it was so rough trying to get her to nap during daycare without it. I'm going to clean my house, bleach the tables, clean the bathroom, use a Clorox wipe on all of the surfaces that the kiddos touch the most throughout the day. Um, any toys that got like put in the kid's mouth throughout the day, I separate into it its own bin and that gets soaked in bleach water at the end of the day. I did that even before the pandemic, um, but especially now with the pandemic, we have to be very careful about washing everything and cleaning everything. I feel like there was still so much that I didn't even get to record, like the five million times I wash my hands throughout the day. I changed so many poopy diapers, you guys. <laughs> I haven't eaten since that bowl of oatmeal I had at 10 a.m. That's kind of a little glimpse into our day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. You guys have a great evening and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.